In this Let's Play live stream at Mahjong Time, we're going to be playing American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This live stream will have an element of social interaction. If you prefer gameplay with commentary only, look for videos titled Strategy Theory. I'm going to try to focus on gameplay with commentary, but every now and again I may socialize. We should have some moderators in the chat to help manage the chat. But we hope to get in some good games tonight. If you're watching the repost, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and click that little gray bell when you do. That's when you'll get notification from YouTube when I go live or upload a new video. I want to say a special thank you to moderators for helping with chat. I really do appreciate your help. Welcome to the live stream. Hello. Oh, JL, you're so sweet. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> Feels like I've been gone a long time. It's only been two weeks, though, but <clears throat> I wasn't sure if I was going to make it today. I'm a little tired, so I'm going to try really hard to make it through two live streams. We'll see. We'll go an hour each, like normal, and uh, let's just hope for the best. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Janet. Hi, Zach. Hi, Karen. Welcome, Cindy, Irene, Suzanne. Hi, Sharon. Welcome to the live stream. I hope you all are being careful and uh, taking good care of yourselves. It's kind of, we, we're going through some turbulent times right now. I mean, right now, we've been going through turbulent times for quite a while, actually. So, <laughs> oh, thank you, Cindy. I'm doing okay, Karen. I'm hanging in there. I still have a, uh, as you'll find out, <coughs> I have a cough. Um, and talking, I, some people are saying that <coughs> this is what it feels like to be asthmatic. I, I'm not normally like that, but um, just recovering from COVID, um, I have this lingering cough and talking seems to create tension in my lungs and so every now and again I might break out into a cough but um we'll see how it goes <coughs> <coughs> every once in a while my lungs just feel like coughing it's very weird because it's never it's just not productive so um there's like <coughs> this um I feel like there's still something down in there but we'll see we're, we'll get through it. I'm better, and um, I haven't had a, let's see here, I think uh, I, um, I, I haven't had a fever since probably um, la last Saturday, I think was the last day um, I was still experiencing fever, but um, I think I'm just kind of getting through it, and uh, it's just a matter of healing, I think. Yes, I did. I had COVID. I, I started my, um, oh, I started symptoms. I started with uh, a cough on July 27th. So this is, um, I think this is day 17 for me. And uh, I consider myself s still being with symptoms, but I think it's just recovery. I, I don't think I still have, you know, like I'm not infectious or anything, but I still have the lingering symptoms. Uh, hot tea with honey. Okay, Zach, I will, I will do that. And I do love hot tea with honey, but I usually do, <coughs> excuse me, I usually do hot tea with honey in the winter. And so it just doesn't really appeal to me in the summertime, but I might just do that just for soothing. But um, uh, anyway, so shall we play some Mahjong? I've been working on some strategies and I have kind of a new one that, well, and this may not be new to anybody really, it's just something that I've been testing. And that is, when I have like numbers with single wins, I hoard them because it's, it seems pretty easy to build news, single N-E-W-S news. 
and if you think about it that is a block of four which is comparable to a calm and a con is a multiple so if you're able to obtain news i would consider that it's not a multiple per se because it's made up of single tiles but having news in hand there are a couple of hands that you can leverage those tiles and do well with so i've been focused on like numbers with wins when i have that i hoard and if multiples build i go with like numbers with news and i've won a lot of games with like numbers with news and i think it's because people do pass wins usually in the first charleston so i thought we would keep an eye on that tonight and just see how it goes uh, you discard east west first <coughs> Uh, oh, thank you, Mary. Uh, let's see. Oh, thank you, Sue. You know what? <coughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's hard. It's exhausting, actually. <laughs> but um, <coughs> um, now I forgot what I was going to say. Um, I am definitely feeling better. I just need to try to get through these, the cough. Um, pineapple juice? Oh, interesting, Sharon. I actually have pineapple juice downstairs in my long-term pantry. So maybe I'll go grab some of that and try that. Uh, you get news often, says Sue. Okay, well, let's just see how that goes. We'll keep an eye on news potential with like numbers. That's what I've been looking at. Um, the other thing I've noticed is people are not, well, at Mahjong time anyway, people are more than willing to pass like numbers. I got two fours today, as a matter of fact, and I ended up keeping them and I had fours in my hand. So I was set up pretty nicely for like numbers with fours, but somebody else won in that case. But it like numbers seems to be a, a really easy category to play, even though there are only three hands in that category. So let's just wait and see how it goes. And um, yeah. Let's see. Thank you, Sylvie. Thank you, Jane. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, we'll see how it goes here. But let's go ahead and get into a table. <coughs> so please bear with me if I start hacking and coughing. I'll do my best to uh, control it if I can. <coughs> um, let's see. People give up on your hands too early. Oh, and you know the other thing I've been keeping an eye on? I kind of marked my card um, just to kind of test this out. And it really is, you know, not, not rocket science by any means, but um, there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. There are 13 hands without singles and pairs. 13. 13 hands without singles and pairs. So I've been focusing on those hands, especially if I'm experiencing a quote unquote losing streak because you can use any number of jokers and you can call for exposures with, um, let's see here. Yeah, with all of them, none of those are concealed. So that's another thing that I've been focused on and I've been thinking about tournament play and that if I'm playing in a tournament, if I have jokers, I'm gonna play an exposable hand or I'm going to, I'm going to look at that as an, um, uh, a higher potential than concealed, because if you're concealed, you have to draw everything yourself as we know. And when you have all those jokers, you just, they're just basically there for when you need them because you can't expose them playing a concealed hand. If you have jokers, you have to think about also exposing jokers and your opponents being able to take them. So you got to kind of think it through, of course, but 
ex claiming discards to make an exposure with a joker can expedite your hand. So that's another thing that I've been monitoring when I play. All right, so here's our first hand, and we have multiples that don't go together. <laughs> so we have three, four, eight, bam, pair eights, and then we have one, two, eight, nine, and cracks with a pair of ones, seven dot, pair of green dragons, and a wind. So this is where I would hold eights probably in this case and see about like numbers. Therefore, I'm going to keep that eats, and that'll leave me to pass. Uh, let's see, maybe break up that one early, one, nine, seven, or maybe we could do the four. Let's pass those. All right. <clears throat> so let's see. All right, here we go. There's a nine. So we paired up a seven now. So here's a seven. At this point, I would maybe keep the nine, even though we let one go. Here's a west. East West. So let's pass three, one. And in this case, let's see here we have seven, eight, nine, but we have no flowers. We do have like number potential with eights and dragons. So I would let this this nine go, I think. Focus here on seven, eight, more likely eights with dragons. So now we have an east, so we'll keep that. We, so now we have a pair of east, east-west with eights potential. So now we have to make a choice. I would not pass one, two, three like that. I would break up this seven because passing one, two, three with a two, three consecutive in one suit plus a year hand in there potentially, I, I would not do that. So we're going to focus on eights. And we'll see if this east-west helps, <clears throat> maybe. All right, there's our eight dot. So now we have all the eights. We could play east and west with eights, maybe. And we do have tiles we can pass, so let's keep going. Hi, Jingles, welcome. Thank you everyone for coming. Again, thank you moderators for being here to help out with chat. I really appreciate it. So here we have seven, five, three. Those are all odds. So let's put it even in there. I think that's a, a pretty good pass there. Okay, so no keepers here. And let's see, four, one, two, one, two, three, one. Let's do three, one. Hi, Anak. Welcome. Oh, look, we got an eight. We got a keeper. So we're going to keep that, and we have tiles we can pass. Now, this is going to be a little risky with a one, two, but we still could maybe play like numbers with eights and dragons. Hello, Carol. Hi, Mary. We don't have any keepers here, so we can pass three. So I want to wait and see. They want three. We can do three. Yes, Maya. I'm doing okay. Thank you very much. I still have a cough. <laughs> Every now and again, I'm going to cough. But um, I'm doing pretty good otherwise. I, and really, for some reason, the coughing is exhausting. I, I feel really tired usually at the end of the day. And I you think that's drink. just because coughing is violent <laughs> your body kind of just seizes and it's it's exhausting seven characters okay so i when i have tiles like this i start on the outside with your tile so i'm going to discard a two, two characters i'm going to turn my sound down a little and then what i like to do this is um kind of an oh advanced strategy um, and this is what I'm calling outside in, Five in the begin and middle game, outside in. This is where you discard from your discards, Seven, you discard from the outside in. So seven, eight, nine, or nine, eight, seven, if we're gonna go from the outside in, nine, eight, seven, and then one, Seven's two, three. Done. So those would go first. So here we have like numbers with news potential. 
all we would need to do is let in east go and that's why if i have like numbers early on i'll try to keep single wins so now we have four and five and there's a four and a five out so we'll go ahead and let one go uh, let's see. <coughs> yeah. Three dot. It does. It's it's exhausting. Four um, dots. All right. So we're looking at like numbers with eights or Seven east and characters. west with eights right now. Uh, let's let the five go. Five characters. So these fours are both inside tiles. We might five see bamboos. an exposure with jokers with these inside tiles. And that's the idea Eight with characters. outside in. The key is that you have to switch the thinking in the end game. Nine characters. And you, if you're going to play to win, you need to discard tiles that are out or tiles that are the most risky if you're going to play to win. All right, let's let the fours go now. Four characters. So we're going to focus on east and west with eights. Seven characters. Like numbers with eights. Probably the dragons can go now that we have Eight a pair numbers. of flowers. All right, let's go ahead and calm. So there's a pure Kong. Four bamboo. And at this point, I would probably try for news with like numbers. Five characters. So probably this east can go. But the dragons will go first. Red dragon. The theory. What is the theory be behind the outside in strategy? Okay. So two characters. In the in the begin <coughs> and One middle character. game, first and second wall. With your discards, so you, you have to triage. You got to hold tiles, of course, that you're going to keep Kong. to support your strength. Okay, here we're going to get two One jokers. Character. We've got we've got um, jokers. So I'm going to go ahead and Green take these. Dragon. We're not going to call that hand dead. Green dragon. And now we're going to let a white dragon go. That's our riskiest white discard. Dragon. And we're one away from news. We need a north or a south. Eight and it looks like somebody here at the table <clears throat> might, we're going to Kong, because there's Kong. already an eight crack out. So let's see, if we pair up the eight, we'll go with the seven dot. like number hand with all eights. If we get a north or a south, we'll let the eight crack go. Five so dot. that's kind of the plan at the moment. And, um, and now I'll explain about outside Power. in. Okay, we're going to pass, obviously, here. So with Nine outside dot. in, <coughs> Kong. in the, in the begin and win. middle game, which would be the first and second wall. So we're Eight still dot. picking right now um, from the third wall. So right now, that outside in theory is, is uh, no, the timing no. is right for that. So what you want to do is keep, four, five, six in your discards because you may be able to get a joker out of them because they're in Two the middle characters. of a sequence and will more likely be used One than nine. outside tiles. So you would discard nine, eight, hmm. seven, and one, two, three. That's the theory. And One I have character. found success with that concept. Now, you have to be careful because... At the end of the middle wall, you got to switch your thinking because when, when. that's when four, five, six, depending on what's been going on at the table, that's so when those done. tiles are going to get more and more risky. So then you have to keep outside when, when, tiles when. and discard. Okay, so we picked up a north. We'll let the eight go. Eight and now we're ready on a west or a south. Eight characters. Ready on a south. And since we discarded that eight, they're going to know we're looking for a south at this Seven point. Characters. Um, although, let's see, there is one other Two hand bamboo. this could be, and that would be a consecutive run hand. That would be three five, dot. six, seven in cracks, but there are three, five cracks out. Flower. And there are four sevens out. So this is the only hand we could be playing. News with eights. Six characters. And we're near pure at the moment. Uh, yeah, we, we might characters. be able to do this pure. So we'll let the joker go. Joker. So that's outside in. Again, the key there is what's happening at the table. One bamboo. So if you're holding four, five, six, hmm. and someone discards, you know, fours, well, then you know you can let fours go. So you have to 
really be mindful of what is being discarded and what's being exposed to that particular strategy requires a lot of situational awareness so that's why i kind of categorize that as an advanced strategy or bamboo okay so we're looking for a south so i hope that helps um uh, uh, kathleen i do have that strategy documented Okay, now we're we're ready on a pure hand. Six bamboo. So we need a south on a pure hand. Four bamboo. So six bamboo. Two now this player on our right, they could potentially be playing north and south with nines. Seven bamboo. Uh, there are two nine cracks out and a nine bam, and there are, are no Six norths bamboo. out. There is a south out. So somebody here is playing Four wins. Characters. So we're going to have to wait and see. Somebody could be Six holding dot. a south. Somebody else could be playing news. Six the dot. other thing we have to think about is this player on our left. They have pure exposures. They're ready on Seven a white dot. dragon. But I just discarded a white dragon and they didn't take Six it. Dot. And I'm discarding jokers. <laughs> So Joker. that's the second Joker out, and there are two white dragons out. So they're going to need two, two Jokers characters. minimum. Five bamboo. I hope we can draw south. That would be a sweet win. Seven bamboo. Five bam. That's a good discard. Five bamboo. Four bamboo. So if, if anybody wants the documentation Seven on bamboo. the outside-in strategy... Send me an email, and I can send it to Seven you. Bamboo. It, it's just a paragraph, so we have flowers now. Somebody's been discarding them, so we're going to discard. Flower. And I keep the pretty ones, the ones that match. Hopefully no one will win on that. Kong. Okay, Kong. Kong is Five good. Dots. So they could be playing the win there. And they could be in news, by Flower. the way. I don't see winds in front of them. There's a there's a pair of wests out in front of the player Joker. on our on our right. So they could be playing news east Six and west. Characters. There are two wests out. East wind. There's another east. Five <clears throat> characters. So we're looking for a south. Player to the left. White they, oh, they're they're playing defense now. So they just gave up their Eight hand. Characters. And we can't call their hand dead because the, the, white, wef, the white dragons are out because they can use jokers. So they, even though they broke up their hand, we cannot declare their hand Nine dead because they could still use jokers potentially. Two, four, five. There are five jokers out. Five jokers are Two out. Bamboo. So actually we could declare their hand dead. Because they 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 won't have enough jokers to make that hand. Six bamboo. Although, so we could call their hand Six dead dot. with the jokers out. I'm gonna do it. Let's see what the game does. I'm gonna do it. Five dot. Okay, I'm gonna document this because technically we can declare their hand dead because there are five jokers out. Two dot. Um. And there are only three jokers remaining, and all four white dragons are wow. out. So there's no way for them to win that hand. So technically, we should have been able to declare that hand dead because of four what is bamboo. out. So that's a glitch in the game, and I'll bring that to Slava's attention. Nine bamboos. So I want to I wanna say something One to that player. One bamboo. Four dots. Okay, so we'll see what they say. But there are now two, four, Joker. six jokers are out, so there's no way for them to win that hand. Three bamboo. All the white dragons are out. They would need four white dragons or four jokers, and there are six jokers out. So there's Five technically dots. their hand is dead because there's no way for East them to, to win at this point. So I should have gotten 25. Joker. I should have won this game because that hand, there's no way for them to complete it. Therefore, the declaration was valid, even though I'm sure it was painful. 
Um, so I ended up losing that game when in fact I should have won the game. Um, see what people say at the table. I said at the time five jokers were out and three white dragons so the game should have honored the declaration. What do you guys think about that? Hopefully Slava will watch this. Okay, anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and play another game. That was an interesting test though, even though I lost, it was an interesting test. Um, so I think they need to recode because that was a good declaration. Um, I, my, well, my, they, the game considered my declaration false or invalid, so it penalized me for the call, which in the game here is 25 points, which is also incorrect. Right now, the um, two years ago, the league increased the penalty to 50 points. So really, I should, in a real live game, I should have gotten, I, I, my declaration should have been valid in a live game. But in the game here, the code is that if you're playing a hand where you can use jokers, it does not take the exposed jokers into account with the declaration, which is incorrect. And then the penalty should have been 50 points, not 25 points. So there are actually two issues in that situation. So that was interesting. Even though it was a little painful and I knew that was gonna happen, I had a feeling that I wasn't gonna win that uh, declaration. I just had to test it out to see what would happen and exposed an issue in the code. No, she could not have won because only three jokers were remaining. She had just thrown out the last joke, uh, dragon. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, so I'm going to focus on three, four, five. Four, five, six, three, four, five. So we'll let, actually, we could maybe play four, five concealed. So let's let the four go. One soap and, no, not three jokers because there were, there were actually five jokers. Maybe at the time I was incorrect. Maybe I needed to wait for either six jokers and four white dragons or three white dragons and six jokers. Um, but at the time I thought it was dead because they had just thrown the white dragon. I'll have to rewatch the video and see if maybe she could have used three jokers. But um, anyhow, we'll see what happens. Here's a six. Uh, so let's do nine, four, uh, six. Okay, let's see. Um, <clears throat> oh, hi, Zach. I trust you. If not, then yes. No way to win. Everybody just finished. Okay. I bet since I had two jokers in my hand, I could not. No, you cannot declare someone's hand dead based on what is in your own hand. It has to be tiles in exposures or tiles that have been discarded. Uh, let's, let's discard this three. We have three, four, five, six dragons. <coughs> Maybe I should have waited one more turn. I was kind of thinking it through, but at the time I remember, I thought there were six dra uh, jokers out. Two, four, five, and three white dragons. So maybe, all right, anyway. 
we won't belabor it. Let's just move on. So we have four, five, six dragons. <coughs> so maybe the three, four can go and then we just need um, flowers. So we have a gap hand, the concealed hand here. Um, she threw a joker, then you declared their hand dead. So that made the sixth joker, which means I was correct. That joker was the sixth one, which means there's no way she could have completed that hand. Okay, so let's play, let's discard. Let's see here. Let's discard three, eight, seven. I did say five jokers while I was verbalizing. There were definitely three soaps out. I remember that for sure. But then they discarded a joker and then the next turn they discarded a white dragon um, but i'll rewatch it and see okay now this is going to get a little dicey here because we have four five six dragon and here we have a pair of sixes so we have six dragon we need to pass so i'm going to focus on four five six i think okay Yeah, they definitely were moving to defense. Okay, so let's go ahead and gather the, let's see, three, six, let's do three, six dragon. We'll, we'll gather dots. So, all right, well, we'll, we'll watch that, that um, first hand in the repost and, and just see what the timing was. I might have jumped the gun on that declaration but the next turn around, for sure, they would have been declared dead. So I might have jumped the gun there. I don't remember now. Okay, so here we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we do have tiles to pass. Yep, you got it, uh, Zach, you had me pegged. Okay, so they want two. So we're gonna do east and nine instead. Yeah, three, six, nine is tough because there's only three tiles or three numbers. So here we have three, four, five, three six, seven. Characters. I would try to push the pair hand. All we need to get our flowers at the moment. Eight and then of course we need to, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We need nine, a two nine. and a seven in here. But we could maybe play this pair hand. It's a little risky because Four we have nine. no flowers at the moment. So we're gonna we're gonna let that go. Although we're gonna pass. Okay, there's a six. So now with these big multiples here, I would probably Seven play dots. four, five, six, and Kong. Seven and of course, we're going to need a joker for that four. North wind. But we still need flowers. We got one. Four characters. Okay, so we still could maybe play the pair hand. Hmm. Two, three, Two four, dots. five, six, seven. We need a flower, a two dot, and a seven dot Two bamboo. for the pair hand. Yep, Six that's what bamboo. I'm thinking, Sue. Okay, now, hold on. Joker, I mean dragon. Yeah, no, let's not. Let's stick with this pair White hand. White dragon. West wind. Now I really want to see that game and that first hand and see. I'm kind of fixated on that, that declaration situation. Did Eight I jump characters. the gun? I don't remember now. Green dragon. Nine bamboos. Two bamboos. I think I was right. Okay. I gotta shake it off. We'll move on. Five characters. East wind. Three bamboo. Hi, Marsha. Welcome. All right. So there's one two dot out right now. 
I'm thinking we could switch Eight to four, dots. five, six. One suit Kongs. Three characters. We'll have to watch what goes down. Two characters. If a five, six goes down, we can Kong. Yes, Laura, I Three am moving characters. on. Red Dragon. Let's see if we can make this pair hand work. West Wind. Nine characters. White Dragon. West Wind. South Wind. White Dragon. <laughs> Sue. <laughs> <coughs> Who cares? Okay, so now a two dot went down. So there's only there's only one more two dot. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. We might need to switch to that one suit Kong Seven hand. Seven characters. <gasps> Joker. Okay, so now we're gonna switch. Two dots. Because now we're set on four, five, six. And we do have Joker Nine bait with bamboos. the threes. All right, so now we're going to play the fifth hand down Seven in one suit, and we'll be able to Kong the five six, hopefully. One dot. Nine characters. Two dot. Yep, there went the other two. Well, I mean, I let the other two Eight go, dot. too. <coughs> Oh, we got the six. Seven dot. Okay, now what we really need in here is this flower. Red dragon. Six bamboos. Three dot. Oh, maybe someone will take it. No, nobody wanted it, so we'll let it go. Three dot. Three dot. Sharon, <coughs> we second guess ourselves because we're not clairvoyant. And Seven it's bamboo. human nature to want to go back. Hmm. What shoulda, coulda, woulda. Okay, so we're gonna do a Joker exchange. Seven bam. Actually, you know what? Let's wait. Three dots. Because we can still Kong. We're set for the four, four five, bamboos. and we may be able to self pick North for wind. a self picked win if we hold that seven bam. Five dot. Because this is the only seven bam left, so we're gonna, we're gonna actually. You know what? Let's Kong because Kong. if somebody throws a flower, we want to be ready to win. Seven bamboos. Okay, so now we're ready to win. Five characters. We're ready to win on a flower. Four bamboos. And there's Nine there's dot. no way this hand will be pure because there's a four dot Seven out. Characters. So if a four dot is exposed, I would not call it. North wind. Because that would just um, share information that you're closer to your hand. Eight Here, characters. they don't know what we're playing. So we're just going to keep this concealed. And if someone throws a flower, we'll win, be able to win. Oh, someone got it first. Like numbers with ones and news. And um, did they self-pick? Yes. So they had a self-pick win. Uh, ones with news. Here we have um, one, three, five, seven, nine, and one suit. But uh, let's see, they could also have played five, seven, nine, dragon. But there were two nine bands out. So I would think that they were probably going to play one, three, five, seven, nine, and one suit. Um, here we have two, four, six, eight with flowers, the first hand. Yeah, we got close. Bye, Zach, thanks for coming. Yes, we were close. Okay, here we go. All right, so now this is where I would think about like numbers with news because here we have any 
and then I would hold any like number potential. So these will go. Now this is a risky pass, five, seven, nine. Since we have the fours, that's where I would hold the fours. So we'll let the twos go and make this a better pass. So we'll do, let's do five, nine, and a two. Five, nine, two. And we'll see if we can get a four. So we're gonna, <coughs> we're gonna test this news, news theory. We got a four, so now we have no gaps. We can play like numbers with fours and news. So we'll discard two, seven, one. Okay. Oh, kudos, Maya. Big odds, pair hand, nice. I like that hand. Oh, look, we got a keeper. <clears throat> we need to get a, a west and a south to go in here. So here we have an east. So let's let's do two nine east. Two nine east. Well, we need a west and a south. We might still get it, maybe, but usually you see wins in the first Charleston if somebody's not playing wins. But somebody could change their mind. If wins didn't come around, they may give up the wins they were holding because they weren't going around. I think the east kept going around, east. So let's do two nine, two nine east. Hi, John. Oh, thanks for coming, though. It was good to see you in the live stream. So we're looking for a west-south and fours. Okay, no keepers. All right, and um, I think a 1-2 in different suits is better than a 6-7 in one suit. So we're going to let the 2-1 go. At least it's in two different suits. No keepers. So here, let's do five, six, nine. At least we have an even in there. Maybe all the wins are in the wall. Oh, no keepers. No keepers, darn it. <clears throat> okay, let's do seven, three dragon. Maybe, let's see what our, okay, they want three, so we can do three. Okay, here we go. We can at least call him one of the fours with this joker, but we're going to need to pick well. So we are, we ended up, um, well, let's see what this last pass is. I'd like to be at four discards after the Charleston, if possible. That, that to me is a good indication of um, strong decision making. So in this case, we have four discards, which is good. So two here, yeah, I would let the two go first. 
and then probably the seven and then the dragon i am seeing people exposing dragons with with jokers but since there's only three dragons more likely than not number tiles will be in exposures so we'll pass there nobody wanted that three bamboo maybe we'll keep that north depending on what Six we get we, we do have the potential to switch to a quint maybe seven bamboo so we could maybe do that first quint with north Eight bamboo but probably not we're closer to news with force Red dragon okay so there was a little hesitation there nine bamboo on that one Oh, we got a keeper. Okay. One character. All right, so now what we really need in here is one of these fours. One character. Or, or a joker. <clears throat> Seven bamboo. Two dots. All right, so let's let this dragon, dragon go. And then... One bamboo. And then the one. Bye, Sounds Jingle. Weird. Oh, Jingles was saying bye to to John. Bye, I John. think. I think Jingles is staying. I mean, that's what I'm thinking anyway. Jingles, you were saying goodbye to John, weren't you? One dot. I think Jingles is hanging out. <laughs> she dots. said bye, Jay. I think she meant John. <coughs> two dots. All right, so we have North Five Three, three discards. Two characters. It would be nice to get that south because you never know what somebody's doing. Okay, so here there's a six out, and nobody wanted it, so we'll six let that bamboo. go. And that's where you have to think through that outside in. If the outside three tile bamboo. or the inside tiles like that six. If, if it gets discarded and nobody wants Two it, characters. then it's probably not a good keeper. So you can escalate that particular discard, even though it's a middle five tile. Bamboo. Same thing here. There's a five bam and nobody wanted it, so I, I will discard it. Five and bamboo. here we have two outside tiles, but neither of them have been discarded yet. So two characters. we'll see if, if anybody does an exposure with the Joker on those. And what's interesting Red is, dragon. okay, so now there's an eight. That's more inside, so we'll let the nine go. Nine characters. Um, but really, this West wind. discard triage is kind of a beauty is in the eye of the beholder because I know somebody who prefers to discard fresh tiles as opposed to keeping nine them. Bamboo. But my thought is... In the begin game and One the middle game, I want to keep fresh Two tiles. Characters. I want to keep fresh tiles because that means people could be holding them and may make an exposure with a joker. Green dragon. And then I can use one to make an exchange. But towards the end of the One middle bamboo. wall, I switch that thinking, and that's when I start discarding those fresh tiles. I don't want to have fresh tiles in the fourth wall. Seven so bamboo. I consider that another advanced strategy because you have to really Seven be mindful characters. of what is being discarded and what is being exposed. Eight characters. Yeah, Jingles is still here. It's okay, Jingles. It was kind of hard to see that, Jay. Nine characters. All right, so threes, it looks like um, Green dragon. three bam is down, but the three crack, three dot One are character. not. I was thinking, okay, now there's a four, so we're going to keep that. Three characters. Maybe we'll pair it up and whatever comes down first. Nine dots. Okay, so there are two south south. We're gonna have to Three keep an eye characters. on that. So four we, dots. Okay, now let's calm. Calm. And because we can, we have no gaps for our Three hand. Dots. Uh, what we really need in here is a south, and then help with this four. Eight bamboos. So Laura says that she discards fresh up front 
and saves fresh for later so i also do that but i don't do that until around the middle of the middle wall that's when i take that strategy on otherwise i hold fresh tiles till around the middle of the middle wall and you just have to really be mindful if you do that because those fresh tiles are dangerous to hold on to later in the game so now we're actually towards the we're 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 nearing the end game now we still have maybe one more pick before we go into the end game so this is when you want to discard safe safely as safely as possible and right now Seven it looks dots. like somebody else is playing wins so this north is going to be a risky hold so probably i'll let that go hmm. okay so we have some jokers available for exchange here flower i'll pass four dots oh they got the joker white dragon all right, now five bam. There are two out, so I'm gonna let the north go. North so win. this is when I make the switch to holding safe tiles, because now we're going into the end game, and the north was the riskiest tile. If you're playing to win, you want to discard your riskiest tiles Three as dots. early as possible. If you're playing to win. South win. Okay, so now there's only one more south left. Three characters. So we're a little stuck right now. North win. Three dots. Two dots. Three dots. Okay. Six dots. Oh yeah, Sylvie, that's true. If the, if somebody Four can make an exposure bamboo. with jokers, oh that's our tile. Oh, we got a flower. Okay, so now we could maybe Five switch to bamboo. like numbers with fours with Nine flowers dots. because now we have flowers in that south. If it goes Seven down, dots. we can switch to the like number hand with flowers. And we have our pair. No four cracks are out. Five dots. Four bamboos. So that probably will be a good pair. Yeah, so let's let the winds go now. So east is going to be the riskiest discard, so we'll let that go first. See if someone's playing wins. Yeah. West win. Okay, good. So now that's going to be maybe a good discard. Let's see. Okay, we're going to let that go right away. Nine bamboos. And of course, we're going to need help with our four crack. Red dragon. Okay, seven crack. There are two out. The wind is probably going to be safe, and so we're going to let the seven go. Seven I think characters. the winds might be safe, although it looks like somebody could be north trying wind. something with news. There goes the third Five north, dots. so maybe not. I think we're okay with these winds. South wind. There goes the last south. Okay, now six. There are uh, north. There are three, so we're going to keep the safest. Six bamboo. This north is the safest discard. And then the west after that. Seven characters. So we have two safe discards. Because nobody can complete news right now. Six dots. Six characters. Oh, they got a joker. One dot. White dragon. All right, let's let these wins go. We West have wind. we have only let's see two more picks, so hmm. probably oh there's Flower. a west. Okay, so we're gonna pass. Three crack that should be safe. Three characters. One dot. Oh, you're welcome. Flower. Um. Okay, so we're going to pass Red Cliff Witcher. You're welcome. Okay, so we have a winner, 456 and one suit. 456 one suit Kongs. So that's the fifth hand down. So well done there. Very nice. Okay, and then here here we have 
five through nine in one suit, likely. Five through nine in one suit. That was getting tight. No, they weren't going to be able to make it because their three five dots are out. So they might have switched to defense. And then here we have east and west with eights. East and west with eights. They had a ways to go, uh, but what they needed was eight band, eight dots. So it was going to be pretty tight for them. Although it, uh, if that eight dot went down, they could Kong, discard the Joker, and be ready on the eight. But that would be telling. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that's the end of this live stream. So we're going to exit and play an hour of Siamese Mahjong. So if you like the two-player version, uh, I'll be back in about five minutes and we'll play Siamese Mahjong for a little bit. Thank you so much for coming to this live stream. It was nice to catch up with everybody and thank you all for your kind thoughts, your well wishes. I really do appreciate it. I know many of you were checking up on me on Facebook and I, I really felt the love. So thank you very much. And thank you moderators for helping monitor chat. Oh yeah, a lot of people forget about the logistics of the game because the game the electronic games do it for you. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to take my inhaler when I'm on that break. Hopefully it'll help. And we'll see you in a few minutes. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos. And you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Also, if you haven't played at Mahjong time yet, look for my email in the video description below. Send me an email and I can send you information about their VIP trial. In my opinion, this is the best place to play online. Mahjong time. Woohoo! Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers. <laughs>